What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to Back to the Future the game. We're gonna jump straight back into where we were, man, so let's get back into it. Monday, October 12th, 1931. Oh, we're back here! So when we left off, we uh, gave Doc the personality test thing and are trying to fuck over his project. All right, I need you to go that back to got the future. The, the chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. All right, come on. Let's do it. Check out. I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short air, Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it, that's it. So it's kind of, it's pushed us back quite a bit from where we were in the story when we left off. But hopefully that's not going to affect it too much. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Yeah, I can. Still, the time jump yield. I can see that. New data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. All right. So that mix isn't going to be any use, is it? Doc's trip aged the formula a few hours. Not enough to turn it to acid, though. Okay. So, what do I do to get it to go to acid? Can I spray it again? Or is that gonna not do anything? I already sprayed him. Fair enough. I'm back, and I'm Yeah, busy. what's up, Doc? Make yourself at home, though. Um... Hmm... If I splash him again, will he notice that the thing's missing? <laughs> uh, damn it. What? My you bad. It's got a little, um... No, no worries. No, okay, so he still goes to the shower. Great. Alright, can I talk to yeah. him? Um... Hmm. Hmm... I don't know. You get back to Thanks. I don't know. What's this? What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small Weird exaggeration, catch but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? It's, uh... You look a little... constipated. Yeah. But... Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I guess the <laughs> picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Okay. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Fair enough. Get some pictures of Emma as a baby. For Trixie's performance. Okay. Hey, Emmett, I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. All right, Thanks, done. pal. Don't mention it. Oh, Trixie. <laughs> Convince Edna that Emmett's a slob. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. He seems like an alright dude. Now, did that age up the formula at all? Probably not. Nope, no green light yet. God damn it. I brought him its photo album like you asked. Let's see. What do we got? Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember. Fair enough. I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. How about the furs and the diamond? I'll get him to you. Ah, uh, diamond. Diamond? And then the only one missing is the fur. Right? Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. All right, all right. Up and I may take a real shine to you. Ah, oh, stop you take a big shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. Now bring me those furs and we'll be in business. Yeah, about that. There's your furs right there. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? All right. Get the furs over to you. Boom. 
Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, That's gotta be good. a little ratty, but, uh, they'll work. Nice, nice, nice. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett right. Brown. Red-headed guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. All right, all right. Not so long he won't. Great. This should be entertaining when this happens. This should be really fucking entertaining. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be ready now. Nope, no green. Fuck! <laughs> Seriously, if it hasn't aged up now, what the hell? Hey, the light thank green. God! Thank you. Oh boy. All right, this should do it hey, now. Oh. All right, yeah, skip, 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 skip. <laughs> Take it for another fucking ride. Your thermometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. What's well, up? I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well. Weaver, Weaver, Weaver. Piss off. Just take it for a run so that I can get my fucking acid. When did you arrive this time? Success? Yeah, any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours Ooh. this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Nice. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. What about I can see too. Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace him with titanium. Okay. Hey. Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Jesus Christ. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm slowly in there, you can... Uh-oh. Oh, oh she's she gone. Go. Uh... Well, you better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. Okay. Grab that, grab that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so Rooney. Let's do it. That takes, it, that took I'm so back. long. Um, You didn't pop the question, did you? <clears throat> oh my. Please tell me you haven't you know, popped I it already. You were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. Oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to well. keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Uh... Carl Sagan. Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? Um... Uh, he says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story Ah, oh, goddammit. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you I'm be sure alright without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. I will. He's so easily so distracted. Don't I wish. Alright. Can I spray him with the new bottle and ruin it completely? Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick anti-stain ah, formula. Crap. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash? That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Yeah. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really detergent dirty? blends. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a super yep. destroying slob you can be. Well, that's about it. Good on it's... you, mate. Yep. As soon as I get all this stuff loaded into the truck, I'll be ready for the expo. Want to lend me a hand? Uh, sure. How about I go tell Edna you're coming? I'll uh, get her ready for you to pop the question. All right, all right. Good thinking. Go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I really hope this works. Yeah, so do I. Otherwise, we are fucked! Marty! Doc! 
What'd you do? You got it? What's all the activity? It's all the hustle and bustle. It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Oh, shit. Holy jeez. I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. Oh, what come do on. What you mean? Oh. Uh. You fix the door? The time circuit's fixed. Not exactly. You see, I, I've been mulling things over. Oh, no, Doc. No. Uh, in the timeline you're from. The right timeline. Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. A great wife. Yeah. And Clara and kids and a dog and a bitch in time train. And, and Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? She's miserable. Oh, well, Edna ends up. I wonder why? Um. Happy and fulfilled. She's, uh, she's doing great. She's got a full life, lots of friends, always busy. She's got a fellow? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, uh, lots of them. Lots of them? She's a tramp? No, no. <laughs> what I meant to say was... <laughs> yeah, nice, nice words, Marty. How does Edna end up? It's best to not know. I'm really supposed to know these things in advance. It's, it's bad luck. But you told me how my story turns out. Crap. Yeah, but it's not as if I'll be Crap, I got no fucking options now than then to tell him that she's alone. I imagine I'll be folded into the new timeline, and I'll probably lose all memory of the old one. God damn it. Maybe. So tell me, just as God damn it. What's going to become of Edna? I want her miserable. To be honest, she ends up kind of sad. Sad? Yeah. She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and she spends most of her time yelling out her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. Yep. I see. Doc, don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare tell me to call it off. Perhaps we've been going about this problem the wrong way. No. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Yes! Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. Doc. Can you hear yourself? Do, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. She turned you into a puppet. She took over your life. She kept you from doing what you were meant to do till there was nothing left of you but this hollow shell. Maybe, but she only did it because she cared. I don't believe this. All I'm saying is, let's stop and take a breath. No. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life. Is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain? Maybe we can find a third way. One where everybody wins. No. What do you think? Uh. No. No. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what no. you're saying. Yeah. You no. Don't belong with Edna. So you're determined to break us up, in spite of my stated wishes. Yes. Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say. Doc. Where are you going? Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? Oh, no. Come on. Come on. I feel terrible. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Emmett, what's keeping you? Yeah. Oh, hello, Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. You've, uh, got something on your suit. 
Oh, so I have. Yeah. Oh no. I feel bad now to be breaking them up. Work your magic. Emmett. Just in the nick of what? time. What? Um, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. What? Oh, How did it work? Vision, like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. I feel There's bad. I you. feel bad now. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My grandfather's suit. Oh. My formula. Oh. Oh, look, turn your head. I'll be right back, and we can try this all over and again. And it's Lethrop Brown. Huh? Trixie Trotter. How do you know this woman? <laughs> Don't. I mean, I listened to some of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... Go on. Deny to the world that you know me. Perhaps it is true, but I know you. Uh, I, well. I feel bad about this here? now. You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart. Well... You can I was really looking forward to breaking him back, back uh, breaking him up, but I feel diagonal. terrible now. I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. Oh, wow. Well, Edna, I oh, wow. Edna me. Apparently, you are not the man I took you for. But I am, see? Oh, God. The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love oh, with. Oh, no. die. Let me see that card. This is the psychopath one. Oopsie daisies. Yeah. I should have known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight! I never oh, want to shit. see you again. That was rough, Emmett. I'm sorry you had to go through it, but things are gonna be okay. You and me can... Emmett? Emmett? Oh. That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. Yeah, I feel terrible. I feel terrible! Emmett! He's gone. Where's he gone? Emmett! Go away! Come on! Are you getting Where drunk? Are you? Oh no! I'm sorry where you are you? Through that scene at the are you on the roof? Things didn't work out the way you expected. Is that where this is gonna go? It's gonna turn out okay. See, I I know how this story turns out and Oh Story shit! Is over. <gasps> the clock tower. Think of the future. Stay there, Emmett. Don't throw away your future. I don't have any future. Oh god! Don't jump! Don't jump! Don't jump! Mm -hmm. They say I'm crazy. Got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. This is sad. What are you doing up here? Don't jump. I wasn't gonna jump. Uh, then what do you? This is where I come when I want to think. Ah, oh, When good. I want to be alone. Oh. Tell me more. What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... You need... Get a good shot. Give your system a jolt. Take in a thriller, like Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Yep. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air and... And see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. It will. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. Oh, come on, I dude. I never will. 
Don't give me that. You care. You care about love. Your heart's broken, I know. First breakup's a bitch, but you'll fall in love again, sooner or later. There's a woman waiting in the wings, and she's worth waiting for. Spare yep. me the platitudes. Now that Edna has turned my heart into a desiccated husk, I'm done with love. Forever. Inventing. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. <sighs> Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... How about... The car. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. The light bulb. Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. The telephone. The telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long Oh, god damn. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. You care about me. Me? You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. You. Oh, you no. You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. Oh, you show no. up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Jesus. Okay, I can work with that. I love you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? No. Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? It's for your own good. Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. Oh, but there's more to it, see? I did it for the sake of your, your future. father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes. yes. How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? Did it for the sake I of know everyone's this future. I crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain uh. where I'm coming from. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. Yeah. You bastard. And all that time you've spent building up my dreams, telling me I was gonna be a great scientist. Uh, I feel bad. Cheer up. Don't stop dreaming. You are gonna be a great scientist. Your flattery doesn't work anymore. You're delusional. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Prove hey, it. Daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. Let's do it. Come on. Than Ed, yes. Now you listen to me. Good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas. Do you hear me? Wow. My ideas. It's Scott. I've got it. Got what? Got what? Solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the 
lightning. Oh, he's a back. Lightning. He's back. Suddenly, the answer is clear. It came to me all at once. Like, like... A bolt of lightning? Exactly. Static electricity. Super I and I, static electricity, powering... He's back, baby. The frictionless plates inside that... What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it. Hey, you're, you're you again. Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind-reading tricks when there's... Come on. ...science to be done. <gasps> and the expo begins at eight. We can do it. Here before anything else happens. What? I said, oh no! Let's get oh no 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 no! Oh! Um. Uh. Uh. Skateboard? That's not gonna help. Giving away my wheels. Yeah, yeah. Grab that. Grab that. Grab it. Come on. I can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. All right, then take it off. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take it off. Take it's it off. Not going anywhere. Uh, uh, hmm. Can I? Should I go for help? Ah. Better not leave him. How do I? How? It's not going anywhere. Do I can't do something with this? Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. Oh, I need a hint. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a guy. Maybe he got something that can. Oh yeah. If he's got the acid still, then he should hey, be fine. What? I guess he can't hear me from down here. Oh really? I've got to go back up. Undo the knot. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Go 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 go! Hold on! I wasn't planning on doing anything else. All right. Heaven! What? Got anything useful? Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. No. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. No. That's what I needed. I'm sorry I had to get you so upset. See, I figured you needed to... Forget it! This isn't the time for long-winded explanations. I know. I'm gonna help you. I'll help you finish your new invention. Great! The first step is to get me down from here! Yeah. Very... Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go! I hope there's no time limit on this, because, uh... Otherwise, I am fucked. All right, go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. Emmett's solution. This stuff's dangerous. All right. And now we can spray that onto there, and that should loosen it. Nice. All right, run back up. I got this. Hang in there. I don't have a choice. Now I can swing. All right, Emmett. Here comes little old Marty. Here we go. Uh. Come on. There we go. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Your pants, they're stuck. Do something before we're crushed. No. Ah. Uh, uh. Spray it. What are you doing? Trust me. Hold on. <laughs> nice. What did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty? Thanks. Don't mention it. Oh, good. Uh, 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 tungsten. The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within a converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. You're in okay. You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Let's do it. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should oh, be it's good to have him back. Or else where's the fun of it? 
It's really good to have him back. Although I feel less great about this version of Doc. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Hmm. Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's Monday terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah. In fact, I feel I feel bad someone, about this. Someone I use. <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure it will all turn out well in the end. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Uh. Maybe I should get a cat. Not so. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long... Oh, no, Doc. No. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett. And his friends. Tell me, how much do you know about Sunny Crockett? Oh, no. Doc, don't do it. Doc. Oh, no! No, that's not good. In the final episode. Explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Oh. It was science. She no. used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Jesus. Oh, I don't like it. No. Ah. Well, that's the end of episode four, guys. Um, as usual with these, I'll give it about a week or so to breathe before we get into. Uh, God damn. Before we get into the last episode, so I'm interested to see how this is going to finish off. Um, we might even do one or two live streams uh, to finish off this series. Might be a fun way for us to finish it off. Uh, to do a live stream, go out with a live stream or something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out as we go. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for enjoying this series. Um, it's really because of you guys that I'm still playing this series. Because you guys seem to really enjoy it. Um, so thank you for watching and being a part of it as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already, guys. And become part of our premium content subscription service as well. But thank you, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. Oh, you lost me a long, long time ago. Before the bruises began to show. You lit the fire and I let it grow.